Winston-Salem State University has some explaining to do. The student who was arrested then went live on the gram and stated the following. We had a group final. We had to write a paper. And uh, we had to also make up a skit for our group to present. It was seven of us. I did most of writing the skit just because I wanted to. It was easy and it was fun for me. Well, I thought it was easy. I did the essay as well. She um, got back to me late, six hours before we had to present, actually, saying that my essay was completely wrong and I should revise it. All this and I'm just like, I'm not going back and redoing this essay. That took me two weeks and you told me six hours before. I'm not redoing it. So I come into class and... Didn't say anything to her. She's talking. She's assigned us to our groups, and we're going to talk about what we're doing for the project before we actually have to do it. I We talked about that, and she was like, well, it is wrong, and you should redo it because it's going to greatly impact your grade. Um, once again, said I did not care about that because I'm only here to present with my group so that my group does not get a zero on this. So, boom, she starts getting loud. She starts yelling at me, telling me this is her class, so it doesn't matter what I think. Um, I'm getting loud back. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I got loud back. I was raising my voice, too. I'm like, Dr. B, like, you're yelling at me. I'm not going to redo it. I'm here to present with my group. Like, I'm here to get this done and get out. And she's like, you need to get out. Like, I want you to leave. And I'm like, leave? No, like, I'm here for my group project. She's upset at this point. She leaves, and she's talking to another teacher in the hallway. At that point, I guess, is when they decided to call the police, campus police. Like, like they said, it is important because the black officer... He's, he's a very well-known officer on our campus. He's never given anybody any problems. He's actually pretty cool. And he was doing his best to not arrest me. He was trying to have a conversation. And um, the white officer came in and was like, yeah, you're either going to get out or I'm going to have to get you out. And I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm like, Dr. V, you're going to let them arrest me? And she's like, yes, Dr. V, Dr. Villa Gomez, Cynthia Villa Gomez. The officer, the black officer comes in. He asks me what's going on. I tell him everything. The class is telling him everything. As I'm telling my story, my professor comes back in. Yes, officer, I want her taken out. I'm like, whoa. He's like, whoa, I'm talking to her, I'm listening to her, so wait. We're talking, another officer comes in, and he is a white officer. He comes in, and he's like, okay, so your options are, you're, or no, like, you, you're gonna get out of the class, or I'm gonna have to take you out. And she's like, wait, hold on. She's trying to, like, you know, fix herself. She's like, okay, um, either apologize, or you, you need to leave. I said apologize. Now, the only me, I'm sure I would have apologized, but at that, that moment, I knew that I did not, I was not going in the wrong. I didn't start the situation, I didn't escalate the situation, I knew I was not wrong. So... I'm just like, okay, apologize for what? Apologize because you yelled at me and you dropped the F-bomb? Yes, I did drop the F-bomb and told you I'm not stupid. That's what I told you. So I'm sorry. The F-bomb hurt your feelings. So sorry, baby. We're grown. If that was worth an arrest, let me know. Let me know. According to my mom, it wasn't. But continuing, um, I said, Dr. B, are you going to apologize to me? I, didn't, I came in. I sat with my group. I didn't say anything to you. You decided to start yelling at me as soon as the fire alarm went off about my essay. Um, so she was like, no, I'm not going to apologize. I'm like, what? So then I'm like, wait, well, tell me what I'm apologizing for. Tell me what I'm apologizing for. At that moment, I'm talking to the black officer. I'm talking to my professor. The white officer is like, yeah, go ahead and take her. You have to go get her to the black officer. So the black officer is like, okay, turn around. I'm about to put these handcuffs on you. Local media has now picked up on the story. The TikTok user who posted the arrest identified the student as Layla, who later shared her side of the sitch during the IG Live. The professor has been identified as Cynthia Villa Gomez, while the arresting officer is named Michael Rao. She is facing a misdemeanor of disorderly conduct and is scheduled to appear in court in January. According to one leader at the school, the disagreement between the faculty and the 20-year-old stemmed from an assignment. Layla alleged that the professor told campus security that she told officers to remove her from the classroom. Villa Gomez demanded an apology, but she didn't because she believed she didn't do anything wrong. Her court appearance is scheduled for January 25th at 9 a.m. The university said it is still reviewing the incident for further possible action, including if the professor's actions were aligned with campus policy. Chancellor L. Wood Robinson says school officials are aware of the incident involving the student and a law enforcement officer in the classroom. Our staff is working diligently to ensure all resources are available. All processes are followed and all grievances are addressed, Robinson said. While we would like to share all the details we have, 
under privacy laws and to protect the process integrity all info cannot be shared publicly we know you want immediate answers however the speed of our processes does not match the speed of social media colette grimes though would write the following the purpose of institutions of higher education is to encourage the debate and intersection of different ideals sometimes this leads to heated discussions but arguing is never a crime and for a supposed arbiter of knowledge and an authority figure no less, the student should never have been arrested or forced to apologize to placate the feelings of her professor, to which I agree.